everyone and welcome to episode 5 of Denmare. Uh, the city that as you can probably tell by the uh, chaotic episodes recently and the ever-changing intros and cinematics. I'm really struggling to find a sort of identity for. It's something I have to figure out, but I'm sure we'll get to it soon. Uh, probably once I'm done working through this backlog, which, like I promised in the last episode, this uh, should be the end of. Uh, this should be the last uh, episode from the backlog of episodes. So, yeah, we're almost to the uh, proper episodes, finally. Uh, today, we're working on, again on this area from Helsinki. Um, uh, with the sunken boulevard uh, and the sort of overpass and right now uh, I was just fixing up the roads and um, uh, fixing up this sort of uh, transition between the roads because I'm using these uh, big urban roads um, uh, from the back of the same name uh, and there's this really wide roads that I'm using for the boulevards, and, and they look really nice. They have a few configurations as well. The only thing is they don't have a four-lane configuration. It's two lanes each way and a median in the center. Uh, the closest is a four-lane road that's like no median, and that's a bit too narrow. So I end up having to use this and uh, that other uh, four-lane road in, uh, and yeah, I was just trying to get the transition to work just right. Uh, I think I ended up uh, finish, finishing it uh, off camera, just getting it to look a bit better. But for now, it's fine. I, I guess that's just one of the things to deal with when you're using a lot of different uh, road paths by different creators. You'll have. Uh, uh, some inconsistencies like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, I did uh, I did realize just a few days ago that maybe uh, I could use six lane road and fill in the um, innermost lanes. That might be something I just do off camera. Uh, but for the moment, it's fine. Um, I know it looks like I'm uh, going into uh, very fine points with a lot of these builds, but I am trying to uh, get past all this and actually start working on expanding the city soon enough. So those will all be finer details to work on at a later point, probably. Uh, uh, but yeah, m most of what I'm doing right now is just getting these uh, walls in um, for the size of the sunken boulevard. And again, uh, I might be overusing these walls as well. I, I just like using these ones because they have that uh, pavement texture on top, so I can use it to make the pavement on the roads a little wider. And they have a little wall I can uh, use just as a normal wall. But uh, they also don't function like keys, which is nice because keys are always a bit annoying to work with, but uh, yeah, maybe I need to add some variation into these as well. Uh, luckily, they aren't too distinctive, so it's not much of an issue. It's probably more of an issue with the uh, other walls that I was talking about last episode that I think I overused. Uh, but yeah, we'll see about all that. And again, you can see my finicky self. Uh, trying to get the uh, walls underneath the overpass just right. Uh, so yeah, um, we're just working on this right now, later in the episode. Uh, well, basically the thing we built in this episode is uh, an office park, as you probably tell by the uh, title of the video and it's just gonna be filling up uh, one of the blocks 
uh, there's like a triangular block a little further to the a uh, little further off the screen there's not that will be filling in uh, right now uh, we're working on this uh, metro tunnel entrance uh, a lot of the transit in the city right now is just tram lines obviously we don't have much because we don't have much of the population but we'll we will get those tram lines in but i did want some variation in the transit network so here's a metro line uh, because most of the cities i took inspiration from in uh have like really uh large um tram networks that's sort of why tram becomes sort of the main point but i'm looking to change that here uh, with this metro line maybe i don't know Ooh. We'll see how this goes. I, I, I did make it to sort of bridge across the across the river. Um, I, I don't know if that's gonna stay. I, I might have it bend bend around and stay on the side of the river or something. Uh, I, I just wanted to make this tunnel entrance. Um, I really like how it looked in Helsinki, uh, where again the entire area is based on, and this tunnel entrance is. No exception. So, yeah, I'm um, now it's just um, getting rid of the uh, cliff um, on the sides here and just making the tunnel entrance look a little better. I'm using these Q wall assets, which are basically just keys but uh, without the wall texture, so you can put your own wall texture in. I'm not sure if I'm using these right. Uh, and again, I'm just reusing those same walls that I keep saying I use way too much. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I think I'm using these ones, uh, right? Um, as you see, I just end up using uh, these Altona rail yard walls over there. And it looks fine. Uh, nothing to complain about here. Uh, and once I get these in, uh, it'll soon, yeah, and now I'm putting in the uh, slope profiles, uh, just so there's a little bit of, a, I guess, an embankment as the uh, metro line um, comes down from the elevated portion down to the ground before going underground, so yeah, just getting slow profiles in uh again I i'm not 100 percent sure if i'm using um those right either but it looks fine so i'm gonna stick with it and yeah just getting the other side of the wall then and yeah it it doesn't look half bad yeah uh, and yeah just filling the other side I, I I do need to figure out. Uh, uh, I've already said this, but I, I need to figure out what to do about the um, transit uh, in the city at a sort of higher level, I guess. R right now, the entire transit infrastructure is just whatever uh, roads I've laid out that happen to have tram lines on them, and yeah, I, I need to find the. Proper plans for the uh, transit network for the city, uh, as you can tell right now. This uh, the, the planning for the city is sort of subpar, I guess. Uh, and yeah, a lot of this is just chaotic. So uh, yeah, uh, hopefully next episode uh, onwards we can get a little bit of the chaos out of the way. Yeah, as always, um, just fixing up the big visual issues around this area. And yeah, n now uh, uh, this is just a small PO build I did. Uh, again, in Helsinki, there's a sort of, I, I don't know if it's an abandoned warehouse or something like that. Uh, 
but but it sort of looks like that and that's what i've done i've just uh, taken a tram depot building uh removed one half of it and i've sort of uh, fit the remaining bit into this spot and it looks just fine i, I guess it is really just uh, an abandoned warehouse in this area and it definitely looks apart as well uh so that works out just fine and yeah as always visual glitches you need to fix those yeah I, I guess it works out decently uh yeah also next episode onwards i'll probably actually start talking about the i guess lore of the city uh i don't think that's what jeremy thunder calls it for his series but yeah just getting the story of the city in place as we build out uh the districts uh, around the city that are to come um and that is what we'll be working on uh next episode so yeah i'm probably not making any sense but uh i hope you guys do uh right now we drop down this uh hospital it's going to be on the edge of the uh business park uh so the hospital is going to fill up this block and the uh, business park is going to take up the or the office park I guess is going to take up the next block over uh so yeah I'm I'm putting this in I, I did use um as you saw earlier um that's like a school asset I think it's like a Swedish or finished school um and I used the auditorium asset to just um fill in uh, one of the empty areas it looks a tiny bit out of place but uh you know the story for that could go something like uh that maybe the uh that's either like an auxiliary uh office building for the hospital complex or i don't know like the medical college that will be attached to it or something like that uh so we do have to see about it uh it, it does look just fine though um this is just sort of an entrance um from the main road I, I i'm not 100% sure how i'd make the uh you know, the, this look realistic I, i i don't know what hospitals really uh not look like but how do the road around them function i'm not sure i'm sort of just going off of a roughly going off of a hospital you know uh, live or at least how the road around it work but it's definitely not uh, something i should be taking too much inspiration from but it works out uh this is a list a little bit of intersection detailing that you will see every now and then uh but yeah this works out just fine As you can tell I'm 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 not 100% sure what I'm talking about today. Uh I I'm I'm sort of anxious to uh finish off these uh, first few episodes from my backlog so I can actually get back to working on the city properly and getting some uh proper videos out so I hope you guys are excited for those. Um uh, the coming series Uh so yeah now we've moved on to the office park I'm starting off with this uh parking lot um it doesn't I I I don't think it's a very european thing to have um these um large open parking lots from what I know but it's um uh, it looks fine over here the it's not too far out of the city center but far enough that I think you know uh it's plausible i guess um i i was thinking about what the story behind this office park could be uh because it doesn't feel like something that you'd see in like a european um city center or even near the city center but you know it could be something like this was 
fairly far outside the city when uh, it was built and then the city just sort of expanded out i guess um and yeah this sort of very open area that would usually be a lot denser just isn't uh again let me know in the comments if that makes sense uh yeah yeah the, the parking lot's done uh, and now we're just going to use these uh office buildings as we will see in just a second uh with the office park i i, I believe uh the sensecom's um office uh park assets and yeah the, um they're like just generic office buildings. I used one of one or two of them uh, back on the uh, um, waterfront residential development episode. Um, I think that was like episode two or something. Uh, but yeah, I, I used some of the, these buildings back there. Here, the entire office park is built out of them. They do work really well together. And. Uh, yeah, you guys are looking really nice. Um, that building over there just fit in really well into that spot. And yeah, the, the, these office uh, buildings, they do look pretty generic on their own, but w- when creating like a nice big office park out of this, it does really feel a little more unique, I guess. Uh, it feels a little more distinctive. Uh, than the buildings would on their own. So, even though like a bunch of these are reused, it does look a fair bit different, for sure. Another nice thing about this pack is that it comes with this um, uh, pedestrian overpark asset that fits in really well. And yeah, you can see I'm just adding those in right now between the buildings. And it looks pretty nice. Uh, like I said, it, it just fits in really well with the assets and it doesn't seem too out of place. Sorry if this episode seemed uh, very chaotic and if I. Uh, don't make too much sense uh, but yeah uh, next episode I promise will be less chaotic and better cinematic and it won't feel very rushed because I'm finally through all of uh, I'm finally through my backlog of videos so anyways I hope you all enjoyed and thank you very much for watching.